It's been almost four months since we moved into our new place in Pleasanton, California. And I finally feel like it's at a place where I can give you guys a tour. I feel grateful every day that I get to wake up in our cozy home. Even though it's small, I love it more than any place I've stayed in before. We get to have our own space to create and grow. And our friends can finally be free. Our unit is southwest facing meaning that we get a lot of natural light in the main living areas in the afternoon. To diffuse the light and hide these ugly vinyl blinds, I installed these linen blend curtains with renter-friendly brackets. It worked out really well. I've never paid attention to this before, but having so much natural light in our space really puts you in a better mood. Our plants will agree. The sunlight is also a great tool for helping us control our focus and alertness throughout the day. One of the first improvements we made to this unit was to change all the light bulbs to white, higher lumens, energy saving light bulbs. It makes such a huge difference to the space. Cooking and working are so much more enjoyable when the space is nicely lit. The kitchen is one place I cared about the most. We were so lucky to get these granite countertops and white cabinets. The bright colors really make this small kitchen look bigger than it really is. With limited countertop, we had to get very creative with our kitchen organization. This little nook is our dining area and also the prime real estate for our plants. Since moving in together, me and Andrew's plants joined forces as well. At first, it felt really overwhelming before we cleaned them up and found them suitable homes. Instead of beautifying our environments, the neglected plant felt more like clutter. This plant shelf is a lifesaver. It allowed me to utilize the vertical space and it became home to many of our plants. Many of our plants are already outgrowing the height limit of the shelves. To get good drinking water in a rental apartment, we got Bluvar Row Pot and we love it. It's aesthetically pleasing as a water filtration system and the water tastes really good. It doesn't require under the sink connection, so it's perfect for us renters. Now let's move on to this multifunctional room. Our guest room, our office, and our workout space. I made a separate video dedicated to this space, so be sure to check that out. Since my mom lives in LA, I wanted to have separate beds for when she visits. After doing tons of research, I ended up going with IKEA's Utalker stackable beds for its aesthetic, comfort, and functionality. It was sold out everywhere, but I managed to come across one from our neighbors five minutes away. Inexpensive sofa are generally not that comfortable. Futons are more comfortable, but they usually don't look Look as good and day beds are very comfortable because they use real mattresses and they can also serve as seating area. When the Utaker beds are unstacked, they become one king size bed. I styled it with a bunch of pillows so it's more comfortable to sit on as a sofa during the day. You are here is responsible for guarding the perimeters or for some titans. We actually have a decent sized balcony that we're still trying to make the most of. We started a vegetable garden with some ghost pepper, Thai chili peppers, a habanero pepper, and some herbs. And we've already harvested some this summer. This space is dedicated to our air fryer, which we use almost every day. Andrew has become an air frying master, so we'll be sure to share some videos on that in the future. This hallway includes our main storage area and laundry space. The only thing I really didn't like about this apartment was there are no cabinets and most closets have just a curtain rod. So it's very hard to organize, especially with the amount of stuff that I have. Luckily, we were able to fit our long shelf into this closet, so it made it slightly better. Over here is our washer and dryer. To fully utilize this awkward space, I found this awesome bamboo shelf that has adjustable shelves that can fit my giant laundry back here. It's not too narrow and not too shallow. It is one of my most prized purchases for this apartment.
Finally, this is our bedroom and also my workspace. We were able to create much more space by pushing the bed against the wall. It's crazy to think that we used to share a desk in our old space. For extra storage, I'm using IKEA's utility cart, bamboo shelf, and a bench. Since I can't mount stuff to the wall, I mounted the IKEA pegboard to my desk. Can you tell I'm trying to go with the light and natural aesthetic? To make the standard apartment sliding doors more aesthetically pleasing, I put wallpaper on one of them as a test. I was feeling pretty adventurous with the print. What do you guys think? So this room is the only room with carpeted floor. It can get stuffy and dry when I'm working in here, especially in the summer. So it's important to me to vacuum this room often and have a humidifier and air purifier in the room. It takes a lot of work and creativity to make a house a home. I still struggle with tackling all the stuff I have, be it cleaning supplies or bulk items. I know we would save so much time cleaning if I just have less stuff. We're still working on it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the house tour. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.